As we already know, the CHL Import Draft is a draft that focuses on bringing over overseas talent into the Canadian Hockey League scene, which is made up of the WHL, OHL, and QMJHL. With a long list of rules for the CHL Import Draft, the entirety of the draft includes teams from all of the CHL regions, and this draft is also two rounds long. However, starting from the 2014 season, another rule was included into the already decently long list of rules in the Import Draft. This new rule would ban teams from selecting goalies in the Import Draft, making it so that no new European goalies would be able to play in the Canadian Hockey League. This rule was made by the CHL's board of directors in an effort to further develop Canadian goaltending by increasing the number of opportunities that these goalies would get. This rule was etched during a time when Canadian goaltending wasn't looking that great over all levels. In fact, all three Vezina Trophy finalists that year were Europeans for the first time ever, and Canada's world junior record was also struggling at that time, with their goaltending performances being given a huge portion of the blame. So ultimately, this goaltender ban was put in place so that Canadian goaltending could catch up to European goaltending, at least at the developmental phase. This ban was eventually lifted in the 2018 season as it was deemed that the ban had served its role. In response, seven European goaltenders were selected in the CHL import draft of 2018, including Buffalo Sabres prospect Uko Pekka Lukanen, who was selected third overall by the Sudbury Wolves of the OHL. Now, did the goalie import ban have any effect on Canadian goalies? Well, over the years, the number of Canadian goalies drafted into the NHL had increased, but you could make an argument about how much individual team needs played a role in that. The rule would end up hurting European goalies from smaller markets though, because those places wouldn't attract as much NHL interest, meaning that Swedish and Finnish goalies would still continue to develop well at home with continued interest from NHL scouts, since those are considered bigger markets. Was the goalie ban fair? Probably not. Did it have results? You could argue that it did. But whatever the case is with this particular rule, all we can really do is watch the games and let the boards decide what is the best for the league. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next one.